This is Amanda from The Fundamental Home, and it's pretty loud outside. My neighbors are doing yard work, which of course makes the dogs bark. So, um, and look, I got a bun, right? Brianna told me to do a messy bun today. It was her suggestion, and it, I think it turned out pretty cute, right? Okay, anyway, <laughs> so um, it's grocery haul day, yay! And I went a little bit over budget this week, not like last week, not like crazy, but a little bit, and I think you'll see why when I show you, but I really didn't get a lot of I don't know, I, I guess it doesn't look like a lot, but it kind of is a lot. Like I got four things of meat, um, but I still have, my freezer is still packed full, guys, because you know, when I buy like a thing of meat, it, it's not like one thing of meat for one meal, you know? Cause I noticed this last week, I was like, I kept thinking I'm gonna clear out my freezer this week. So I had pulled out like a turkey breast that we were gonna have for dinner one night. Well, we had the turkey breast for dinner one night and then the next night we had some of the turkey breast leftovers in the soup and then the next night i used a little bit of turkey breast leftovers to make a pot pie and i have the bones that i'm going to make broth out of so it's like okay so it's a, a turkey breast but it like it goes forever right in our house it does <laughs> so even though i wanted to use up a lot of things in my freezer it totally didn't happen that way because of course if you watched our live event we went live i'm sorry for the loudness um, but we went live on Instagram and uh, Frugal Family Food Facebook group on Monday, I think. And I fried up some steak and stuff. And that lasted a couple days. I mean, you know, so what can I say? I'm trying to use it up, but it's just not happening. So I still don't have a ton of room in my freezer. So I didn't get a lot of stuff to go in my freezer. I did get four things of meat. Um, but I don't know. It just doesn't feel significant. You know what I mean? So anyway, um... I got a lot of other stuff though, and I can't wait to show you what I've got. I think you guys will be really impressed because I was super excited with the deals and that's why I went over my budget because the truth of the matter is guys, I got a lot of produce today. And we got footage from the discount grocery store, which I'm gonna show you here in a second. And you will see it includes some footage of the craziness at the produce because what happens at the discount grocery store where we live is they will put out the produce and people like mob for it like Black Friday mob. Like the one thing I really wanted, I saw they had spring onions. I was waiting for them to put it out. The spring onions went out and I like raced to get some. The, the woman in front of me grabbed the last, she was just grabbing bunches, grabbed the last one. I'm like, man, but that's okay. I got a lot of other good stuff. So let me show you the footage from that and then I'll talk to you again for a second. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the footage from the discount grocery store. It was a little bit crazy, but you know, that's how it is when you go to a discount grocery store like that. And I gave you, showed you a couple more aisles, including the um, non-food aisles, just a little bit of footage from those. And um, Brianna was filming, actually, she was doing the filming of that while I was over trying to get some produce. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's what happened there. So we've just actually got a couple of aisles left um, to show you. And that's gonna be it for the discount grocery store. Um, I will say this though, a word about my purchases. Um, I will tell you in advance, one of the things I got was strawberries and I want to mention allergies in my home because everyone everyone kind of knows the allergies in my home but they don't really know all of them. So here's the deal, They're, Ricky's allergic to a lot of things, like things I haven't even told you about really. Still barking dogs. Um, so like one thing is cloves. He's allergic to cloves, so I have to be careful um, when I make like a pumpkin pie or something, cloves are omitted. And I have to make sure that I can't buy things like that because they might have cloves in them. Um, but anyway, so Ricky's allergic to a lot of things. Most, his, most of his allergies are mild. You all know he's allergic to, I think I've said before, tree nuts. Um, but I think perhaps people got confused with peanuts because uh, we had fried in peanut oil on the video last Friday and it confused people. 
Um, they were like, what about Ricky's allergies? He's not allergic to peanuts. He's allergic to tree nuts and really not even all tree nuts. Mostly, his most heinous allergen is cashews. I cannot bring cashews into this house at all. They're, they cannot be around. Other nuts can be in the house, but Ricky doesn't touch them if they're tree nuts for the most part. Some he will, but, but for the most part, no. But they can come in the house. They're not that big of a deal. Cashews, no, no. They don't go anywhere near him. Um, Brianna is allergic to strawberries. I purchased strawberries today, guys. You're going to see that. Um, but it can come in the house. She just can't eat it. She can't consume it. So um, that's the deal with the allergies in our house. Of course, gluten, we have gluten things in our house. Um, Ricky is not so highly allergic. I mean, he kind of is, but he kind of isn't. Like, he's not going to break out an anaphylactic reaction with the gluten. With the gluten, it is more um, damage to his intestinal tract in the long term. So the problem when you... Let me just share with you, when you got a 17-year-old son with a food allergy who doesn't immediately feel it, you got to fuss with him from time to time because he thinks, I can have it every once in a while and it's not going to hurt. No. No. But sometimes he doesn't listen to his mom. I mean, maybe it's just me. Maybe you guys are great moms, okay? I'm a, I'm a okay mom. <laughs> I never claim to be a perfect mom, people. And this is what happens in my house. He will go nature. He will go to college and people will have things and he'll be like, I can have one of those. Now, most of his friends now know that he's not supposed to have it and they kind of watch out for him, but every once in a while he'll sneak something. And then a few days later, he'll keep, you know, he'll keep sneaking it thinking, I'm, a, I'm okay. And then he'll start to feel it. And then it's like, oh, have you been eating gluten, son? And I can usually tell because he has other issues that pop up and I'm like, so you've been eating gluten there. Why are you doing that? Can, can you feel me, moms of teenagers? Just high five through YouTube. So anyway, <laughs> I just, I'm on a rant today. What can I say? No coffee yet. I actually have a secret for you, but we're gonna talk about that later. Okay, so let's go talk about the grocery haul. Let me go show you what I got and you can see the deals that I got today because I think it did pretty good even though I went over budget, but you know. I'm getting kind of lazy about that. I really need, I need to get back on track. Okay, you guys can lecture me in the comments. I, I know it's coming, but this is just what it is. I'm giving you the reality. So let me go show you what I got. Okay, so we're in the house. My hair is so cute today. Like, I'm totally liking it. Okay, um, <laughs> although there's this piece right here. Okay, so anyway, um, I have the totals on the board over here. There they are. You don't want to look at my list of to-do things, right? So $15.65 was Aldi, and $19.69 was my discount grocery store for a total of... $35.34. That's right. So, um, I'm about five bucks over. Mm, okay. I, I'm lazy. I admit it, but it's not too bad. Let me show you what I got. Let me show you what I got. First of all, let me just say all these, I only got a couple things and it was a little expensive and partially some of the things that I got, I'm moving things around as I talk to you. Some of the things that I got were for tomorrow's frugal family food meal. Am I doing frugal family food tomorrow? No, I did it last week, but guess who's going to do it tomorrow? Brianna on her channel. So I'm gonna link to her channel somewhere over here, over here. Yeah, there it is right there. And um, you can go to her channel and go ahead and subscribe that way tomorrow when her video comes up, you will see it. But I'll, I'll show you what she got and then I'll tell you what she's gonna make a little later. So look right here, I'm gonna show you what I got. So here are my receipts. This is Aldi and it's the 1565 and this is my discount grocery, which was $19.69. And so at Aldi, the first thing you'll see that I got something I almost never get. Look at that, people. I got milk. I got milk. It's for Brianna. It is for her frugal family food meal tomorrow. So $2.79 for milk. That is why I don't normally get it. And you know, I actually went to Aldi first and they had a, a milk for $1.99 at my discount grocery store, but the date was closer. I probably could have gotten away with that one. I kind of wish I'd gone there first and gotten it, but whatever. This is good. I'm, I'm glad we got it pistachios we are out of pistachios because while my, my family probably isn't gonna, aren't going to eat the other nuts we love pistachios so i went ahead and got the big bag this time it was 5.99 we're out of sugar brianna also needed that 129 now look okay first of all this apricot preserves is for um a dish that i asked i was asking for recommendations for an asian dish and I'm going to use that for an Asian dish. 
somebody recommended on the Frugal Family Food Facebook group. So that's what I'm using that for. And then these are for Brianna. Caramel topping and chocolate syrup. Okay, so the apricot preserves were $1.79. This topping, the caramel, is $1.99, and the chocolate syrup is $1.49, okay? So all of that, right there, that's all you get for $15 at Aldi. And Aldi's a store with great prices, right? But look at all this. This is what you get for $20 at the discount grocery store. $15, $20. $15, 20 See the difference? I mean, this is why we go to the discount grocery store. So let me show you what we got at the discount grocery store. I will try to start with the non-produce things, okay? So the first thing I saw these, and I thought Ricky would like them. He is done with his college semester for the spring. He's starting his summer semester. He only has one class. He's working full-time one job, and he's working part-time his other job. So I saw this. I thought he might enjoy it for a lunch snack. Normally, he pays for his own, but, I mean, I thought he might like to try this. And they were only a dollar, so it's a flatbread pizza wrap. So I don't know. I've never heard of it. If you've heard of it or you've tried this, let me know what you think of it in the comments. But you can see right there, gluten-free. So really excited to try that I got two of those for him. Okay, another non-food item. I got this sausage again. It was 99 cents. We have enjoyed it every time we've gotten it. These Genio ground turkeys were 99 cents each, so I got three of those. Very, very happy. Let me move that out of the way. I needed some butter, and normally I prefer to get real butter, but they didn't have any, so I was forced to get vegetable spread. We'll use it, which just don't make a habit, and this is these were 50 cents each, so I mean... At least the price is right. It's just, you know, it's not something I prefer to use. But but there it is. Um, Brianna saw this Sunday syrup, this caramel syrup, and she thought that might actually be better for the um, thing that she's making for Frugal Family Food tomorrow. So I told her she could go ahead and get this, and we'll just have two of them. So this was $1.50, okay? This she is also using for her thing tomorrow, and it is, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of frosted over now raspberry sorbet she's super excited about that do you know how much this was 50 cents 50 cents and it's one pint so that's a pretty good deal right that's got to go in the freezer okay now let's talk about the produce here okay you saw the craziness at the produce this is why okay first of all the tomatoes i got these brown gourmet tomatoes for 79 cents for four and these are a little bit larger tomatoes in this bag and they were four for a dollar. Okay, I don't have any clue what kind of tomatoes these are. Um, just random tomatoes of some kind. My husband loves tomatoes ah! on everything. In fact, he will just eat tomatoes, just straight eat tomatoes, and he loves them. So I'm just opening this up. So four of those for a dollar. So 79 cents, 79 cents, a dollar for those tomatoes. Okay, celery is 50 cents. You can always use celery. Each thing of organic baby spinach, I don't know if you can see the price on there, price on that one, 99 cents. So I got two of those containers of baby spinach. I have no idea what I'm to make with it, but I'm going to do something. I have these tubs of strawberries. They were 75 cents each. They smell so amazingly ripe. I'm going to have to figure out what to do with them in the next couple of days because they're not going to last. They're probably not going to last beyond a day, to be honest with you. So I'm, I'm going to sort that out today. Um, this bag of green beans, I don't know if you can see this bag, how huge it is, but that is, I mean, several pounds of green beans, just snap greens, and, um, it was $2 for the whole bag. You could fill this whole bag up, as many as you could, $2. Great deal. And then this bag was poblano peppers. Now look at these, right? I'm going to pull this out for you. Look how beautiful that is. And you know when they put these out, people were like, people were like fighting for every single thing on that table. Most things did not even look that great. Like there was some cauliflower there that was straight up brown and people were fighting for. This, people were like scared of because it's poblano peppers and they were like, I don't know about that. I don't know what to do with that. I'm like, it's a pepper. Use it. <laughs> I mean, really, I mean, it's a little spicy, but I mean, okay, it's still, I mean, that's a great pepper. Look how beautiful that is. This whole bag of peppers, one dollar one dollar i think there's eight of them in here i think they were supposed to be five for a dollar but they were just like yeah if you got a bag it's a dollar so i mean 
that's what we ended up with. So anyway, lots of great produce this week. Lots of great produce this week for my $20. And, and I mean, I'm not going to go through everything in my fridge, people, but I still have some stuff that I have to freeze from that baby shower. And I've still got, I mean, just all kinds of stuff hanging out in here. Look at all my leftovers on the bottom. Isn't that crazy? Um, and here's my freezer. Packed full freezer. Like, I keep trying to pull things out. It's packed full. I put that sorbet in there. <laughs> but we just have way too much stuff. That's all there is to Oh, look who's, who's this is. Who's this is? Who this is? Say hi. Hi. It's our frugal Ooh. family foodie for tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> Tell everybody what you're making. I am going to be making coffee. Coffee. Frappes Wait. and a macchiato. Yes. Well, to remember May is make your own. May, make your own. And so um, Brianna was yesterday telling me all day that she wanted coffee. <laughs> I was craving it, so I'm going to be making it. So <laughs> her friend actually made... Her friend, who you might also know, it's Tangie's daughter. Emily! Okay. <laughs> they were talking, and Tangie's daughter made some iced coffee, and she was like, she was like oh. I know what I'm going to make tomorrow. I'm going to do make your own coffee. I was like, that's great, because it's almost summer, and I bet people want to know how to make some iced coffee beverages. There she is. So anyway, so that is what we're doing for tomorrow. She is using decaf, though, just so you know. Decaf. You can use coffee if you want. You can use coffee, but she's using decaf. You'll wait. Just wait and see. Just wait and see. Okay. I'm gonna show you one more thing, and that is our car, because it got painted, and I wanna show you the front of it. Look, the silver part got painted. We are very, very happy. Looks good. Nice and clean. I mean, the rest of it's kind of dusty, but it looks really good. You cannot tell. I don't know if you I don't, On the camera, it looks kind of weird. I don't know what you guys can see, but it looks really good. So Brian's car is ready for him. Yay. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna show you this too. This is my bedspread from Burke's. Isn't it so cute? I love it. And I saw it in the store yesterday. It was a queen size. It wasn't, this is a king size bed. So it wasn't the king size. But um, in store it was on clearance for $41.99. So I was like, yay. So it's, I think it's called Chantilly. I don't know, look at the pattern on it. It's so pretty, I love it so much. So anyway, looks great, looks great in the room. I don't have a headboard, but <laughs> I really like it. So, and Brian bought me brand new king size pillows for Mother's Day. He had asked me and I said, I don't really know Brian what I want. And then when I got, I was getting the bedroom set together and I, I was like, you know what I want Brian? Some king size pillows. So that's what he got me. So anyway. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Tomorrow, like I said, we will have frugal family food. It's gonna be Brianna on her page, and I'm gonna share with you our menu plan for this week. We have a couple of things going on, so it's keeping us busy. And um, that's it. We are going to be going live. We're gonna to try to go live every few days on Instagram and on the Frugal Family Food Facebook group. So there are links down in the description box. If you have not actually joined the group or followed me on Instagram, make sure you do that. And I'm trying to at least do one meal a week with you guys. I did it on Monday last week. I'm gonna try to do it Monday again this week, but no promises. I'm gonna at least try to do one a week though. And I hope you guys like it. I'm trying to trying to keep it up. So anyway, you all have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also, if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it, because there's way more details there. And uh, here, over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by, and we'll see you next time. Bye.